Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Please give me a second here to clean off my microphone. <laughs> there is so much hair on it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So in today's video, we are going to be doing a what is on my iPhone full minimalistic theme that I've created and done. It looks absolutely beautiful. So with that being said, I'm going to open up my phone and put it on the screen. This is the only way I can get my face on here, so don't mind me. And let's get my face on my iPhone or my... <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's get my iPhone on my MacBook. Okay, guys, so here is my iPhone. It's on the screen. This is my lock screen. I have this cute, like, field color, um, like these, like, um, whatever they're called. Uh, and I have the date at the top of the screen. And then I have my time in this, like, New York colored font. Um, the font is actually named, it actually does not have a name, but um, it is the, like, this one. It's this one. To me, it's, like, called, like, a New York font. Um, and then my first widget on the left side of my lock screen here is just the rain. I know I can put it on the top, like I've previously done, like, if we, like, change um, my screen here. Um, you guys can see at the top I have the the day and the weather, but I prefer it this way because it gives me like a graph view or more information and I get the full date. That way I know what day it is, what month, and I just like the outlook or I just like the, um, the way it looks a lot better. And then on the right side, I just have my last run information, which is from Nike Run Club. So like my run yesterday was a just like a little run. It was 0.97 miles, so almost one mile. And I get my pace, my time, and all that stats right here on my screen. Um, one thing I'm wishing that Apple would add is a smart stack. I wish you could put a smart stack on here on your screen because then I could add my quote here um, along with my reminders and my run. And that'd be so nice, but they only allow one widget. So Apple, if you're listening, please let us be able to do a um, a smart stack. That would be fantastic. And also, please add more room for more widgets. Like a spot at the bottom would be nice. Or if we could do like a widget like right above our, our like thing to swipe up, that'd be fantastic. So anyway, with that being said, that's my lock screen. Moving into my phone, I have my first screen, which just has all of the Apple apps. I've had my phone like this since I had my iPhone 8 Plus. I don't change it. I keep it the same. It's been the same for close to six, seven, eight years now. I always have the FaceTime and the way that Apple puts it and sets it up because I like them that way. I've just grown used to them. You know, I know where my calendar is. I know where FaceTime is. I know where photos, my camera is. I know where mail is. I know where everything's at. So I keep them that way. And then I just pop um, some of the apps I take off to make enough room. I think I took off the, I forget exactly what I took off, but I took off two, two apps to make room for this utilities folder. And then... I go over here and this is where I have everything done. My background is from Pinterest. It's just a like falling palm leaf with like a beige out tone. Um, and then I have a total of three widgets and a total of eight shortcut apps. Now I got my icons from Etsy. I purchased a pack for like $5 and there's like over 80 different or I don't know how many different tones. I think like 80 different tone options. And there's like over, uh, I think like 18 million or something apps, options or something they said. I don't really know. But I had to search a very long time to find my icons because there was so many options. Um, but definitely a good pack for your price. I can make them last me at least a good year. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, my calendar is at the top through Widgetsmith. I use Widgetsmith. Um, that way I can make them this nice beige color. And then I create this myself using Canva. 
um, this little widget right here. And I just put in here, trust in God, trust in yourself, never stop believing and work hard. They're just four little quotes, four little sayings, four little things that I like to have on my lock screen. I need to trust in God, number one. I have to have faith in myself. I never need to stop believing. I need to always keep working towards my dreams and believe about the future. And I need to work my ass off, okay? Work hard. And then my other widget in the right bottom corner is from Widget Smith, and it just has the conditions outside and the temperature. And then my four, my total of eight, but my four on the right top is Starbucks because we have to have Starbucks. Surge, that is my credit card company. Orstown, which is my bank. Twitter, Cash App, Amazon, Sirius XM. I love the Sirius XM app. I've been listening a lot to Hits One. I'm a really big fan of The Highway and Kelly Pickler, but I haven't heard Kelly Pickler lately, so let me know. Is Kelly Pickler leaving the highway? Um, but I've been listening a lot to Hits One recently. Um, my favorite channels are Hits One, The Highway, Enlighten, The Message, all those. Um, but yeah, I love the morning mashup crew. They are so amazing and funny. Um, anyway, but with that being said, though, um, I then have Yahoo on this screen as well. That's my main email app. But I'm thinking about taking one of these apps and making them a different app. Now, my Cash App, I don't use it. That is just for, like, my grandfather's Cash App. Um, so I'm either going to replace Cash App or else my credit card place with... Um, with Gmail because I'm using Gmail a lot now. This is mostly just for like aesthetic purposes. Um, but like, I mean, half the stuff I just search for. Um, then on my next screen, this is where things get kind of messy. And I turned off a lot of my notification badges, but a lot of them are still on. But we have a total of eight folders. My first folder is called Social. Now this just has Facebook, Discord, Zip Recruiter. Unsplash, Tumblr, which has a new logo, um, Twitter, Rockstar Club, or Social Club by Rockstar, Truth Social, Quora, Pinterest, Instagram, Indeed Jobs, Fiverr, and then a Getting Out app. And then Xfinity is another folder. It just has all of my Xfinity apps. I have Xfinity Stream, Xfinity Mobile, Xfinity My Account, Xfinity Normal, and Xfinity TV Remote. It just gives me a whole bunch of control over my Xfinity everything. And then my next folder is Finance. I have Aaron's. That's a leasing company I use and I pay my payment um, for my refrigerator. Water is my water bill. Venmo is a prepaid app to Venmo people. Vero is a bank account, UPMC. I don't know why that's in finance. It's not finance related. Maybe because it's for like bills to pay the like the, the bills from my grandfather's doctor's office. I don't know. Republic Services is my trash company. PPL is lights and electric. PayPal is PayPal. PA Lottery. You can check your scratch off tickets with this app if you're in Pennsylvania. Just click here. Ticket checker. And then scan ticket, and then you just take your ticket and scan the little barcode thing and see if it's a winner. One main financial is for a small personal loan I took out about maybe a month and a half ago. Orstown, oops, oh gosh, I'm happy that I opened Gas Buddy and not H&R Block. Orstown Bank, again, had that on my other screen. H&R Block um, is right here, that's for taxes. Mission Lane, credit card company. Farmers is for my insurance. Gas Buddy, I check the cheapest gas prices around. Fuel Star is pretty interesting. I would open it, but it's going to tell you the locations of where I dri drove, and I don't want that to be disclosed. But basically, it, it helps you save gas by monitoring how good of uh, how good or how bad you're driving. So if you brake too hard or gas too hard, it will tell you about that, and then basically you can work to fix it. Um, but yeah. Then I have Cash App, then I have the EPM app, which is also has TMS. I don't know why it has both, but anyway, it's supposed to be EPM. That's for my mortgage company. Centerwell Pharmacy from my grandfather. Credit Acceptance is for my car payment. Credit Sesame, checking credit. Ally Auto for another car payment. YouTube Studio to check 
analytics about my channel, and then CFC was that first app that was called Surge from my credit card. Then games, we have Boring Island, Sky Burger, Slither.io, Randonautica, Reddit, Pokemon Go, Office Zombie, Paper.io 2, Jelly Splash, Idle Egg Factory, Idle Supermarket, Whole.io, Heyday, Gear Clicker, Egg Incorporated, Crowd City, Icy Maker, Clean My Carpet, Bowmasters, BitLife, Best Fiends, Yahtzee, Tornado, and Spinner Evo. And then give me a one second here. I already finished my work, so my teacher was telling me to stay in my class just like I finished my work. So I'm just trying to monitor that because I want to know when to leave. But she said just to sit here, even though I already finished everything. But anyway, um, shopping is my next folder, and I have Target, Starbucks, Amazon, Lowe's, Zillow, USPS, UPS, Sheets, Rudders, Sam's Club, Petsmart, Papa John's, Kohl's, Home Depot, FedEx, Dollar General, Duncan, Best Buy, Apple Store, and Walmart. TV is just all of my movie and like video apps. I have YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, ABC 27 Weather. Oops. Give me a second. Okay, I'm just going to mute her and I'll come back whenever she's done talking because I she already explained all that to me earlier. Um, Fox News, NFL app for football when it's in season. But football's over now until the fall. So, anyway. Peacock, Prime Video, Tubi TV, TikTok, and Fire TV. Um, health is all about my health and about like every type of health, Medi motivational health, um, yeah, meditation, motivation, mental health, physical health, emotional health, every kind of health. So I have Nike Run Club. I have an Amen app for my religious, as for God, of course. Spirit is to track a pastor and what you learned about. You just take notes. Um, I guess I never signed in though yet. But I, I, on my iPad, I have all the preachers listed. Shine, Sleep Cycle, Safaria is in like a Arabic thing that you can check out more about the Bible. Quali is for your heartbeat, motivation, mood light, leading the way. King James Version Bible. Let me just log out of here really quickly. Yeah, King James Version Bible. Um, just to read. Joyce Meyer Ministries. Hollow is a Catholic app. I don't, I'm more of like not really a Catholic, but it's still a Christian app. So you can learn more about God and do different stuff in here. Headspace, Glorify, Bible, Car Care. Balance is meditation. Today in the world and then Focus Keeper. Now I want to take a minute on two apps in this folder. First is Mood Light. This one, you log in and it asks you, it's a new day. Select the mood that best reflects how you feel at this moment. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good. And you can do as many check-ins as you want per day. You can do 100 if you want. Um, and then choose the emotions that are making you feel good. So right now, I'm kind of calm. I'm content in life. I am just... Um, optimistic about things um and that's pretty much that and then all emotions are valid what is making you feel this way so my friends my family my studies my work and relaxing all are making me feel that way and you can choose up to five i believe oh you can select as many as you want they used to limit you on only five but i guess now you can do all that you want so, and then you can type in some stuff. So I'm just going to put in here filming a YouTube video. iPhone minimal theme. Done. And then it just takes some time and it puts everything together and you go right to your screen and um, you can see your mood. And right now it shows from the past, I, I guess you can only go back a week um, unless you buy it, but like right now, like my little ball, it shows you for one week, um, a quote that's new 
and then it'll show you about your stuff and then it will change your ball color. So like right now I'm feeling good. So it's green or I can like, you know, because of my feelings and stuff, they all come together and pick like a color. And then by the end of the week, you can look at the color on this. So, but I haven't done it. The last time was Monday, March 6th. Anyway, and then my other app I wanted to mention was the Focus Keeper. This is such a great app because you can look in here, and I'm supposed to be tasking and remote task today, but I can't do it because there's nothing to complete. But once you do it, you can just click Start, and then it starts a timer, and then you can click Done, and then End it, and then it just puts it in here, and it's just like you can keep track of stuff. So I really like that app. My last app is the, or my last folder is my biggest folder, and it's my miscellaneous folder. Um, it has a fraction calculator, Facetune, Messenger, Island Wallpapers, Visco, Roblox, Mathway, a shortcut to my car, but it's no longer on there because I bought it, Google Translate, P PlayStation app, Widget Smith, Songshift, Yumly, Yahoo Mail, Waze, Go Be Home, Podcasters for Spotify, Google Calendar, Widgetable, Outlook, Snapchat, Color Widgets, Casa, Insight Timer, Google Experian. Uh, JS Wallpapers, Picture Insect, Google Maps, Voice, Volume, Storm Shield, Streamlabs Connect, Picture This, Snake vs. Block, Themify, Scout Maps, Icon Chic, Ask AI, True Caller, Student Square, Word, Carlisle Events, Driver's Guide, Amazon Aleka. Uh, I said Aleka because I don't want them going off. My BMW, Tezza, Step, Vero. That can actually be deleted. That's an old uh, shortcut. A little bookmark, Keep Smile, Firefox, Adobe Scan, excuse me, Shazam. Life360, Freebie, Canva, Gmail, TBN, Authenticator, The Weather Channel, and Skywall. So many different ones. And then I have this folder just thrown over here because it's supposed to be now on my bar, but I don't want a folder because I was doing this theme, and it just has my favorite apps in it. So that's that. But that is what's on my iPhone, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please give a like down below and leave a comment if you'd like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, everybody.